It's the year 2025, and AI has taken over the world. Yikes. I feel like you can't really go a day without seeing some X company has made this new AI model for their app. It's almost unbearable having AI this, AI that. I thought ChatGPT was enough, and now we have Gemini? Okay, maybe Copilot or fucking Grok? Great name, Elon. Should have expected that after this. And now it sounds like I'm against AI, but in all honesty, I'm not that much against it. I do see very big potential with AI that isn't really being fully utilized. It's sort of like back in 2020 or 2021 when you had that big NFT or cryptocurrency boom that lasted like two weeks where people started putting in their hard-earned money into shit coins and losing it all. Remember that kid that lost all his college money on Doge? When he tweets or talks about Dogecoin, it jumps nearly 20 <laughs> but AI is a different case because it actually helps people and not just make the rich richer. Talking about rich people, we started off with ChatGPT, similar to a chatbot, just with smarter and broader answers. Then we went to AI image generators, which makes sense, and now AI video generators? This looks quite shit, but it'll get better, which it did. Oh, and music. That's not enough, actually. We have drinks made by AI. It shows that AI hasn't got a fucking clue. Which sounds fun until it suggests rat poison be added into the mix. AI toilets? An AI necklace that talks to you like a friend? And now you say there's AI strollers? That sounds fucking safe. You see how safe Teslas are? I'd put my baby in that. Or even AI shoes? What do you mean they cost a thousand bucks? I thought we peaked when the Juicero came out. I think we need to step back. Daddy, chill. Maybe we should see where all this chaos went. Like, how did we went from simple programming to feeling like Skynet is just a week away? Before ChatGPT was made. Before fucking AI mirrors. Before we basically made rocks think. I feel like so much tech has happened that we forgot five or so years ago, artificial intelligence was generating nothing but slop. Oh my god. Even now, artificial intelligence is really that intelligent. All this time and tech and a measly five years, which isn't really much in retrospect, and we've got things that can replace artists and all the AI art dick writers trying to cope. I'm an artist too. I'm an artist too when all they do is tell their AI housemate to paint for them like look you're here for money and that's why you're so pumped about this technology coming out don't act like you're something greater when you just anyway innovation like all innovations this starts from somewhere primitive and all this really started when the patient zero of AI and it's not Google surprisingly it's something called Eliza Eliza is an AI made by Joseph Weizenbaum in 1964 through 1967 it was a crude and simple AI basically acting as a psychotherapist asking you stuff about your day and responding about it. It was the first ever rendition of something like a chatbot. You can kind of say that Eliza was the mother of ChatGPT or character AI if you're into that. And after that, it was history. We went from chatting with that to chatting with metaphysical renditions of our favorite characters and waifus. If you put the AI timeline from that year on, I guess it does make sense why these AIs are so smart these days. But then again, most of the shit only spouted up past 3 years or so. At least ChatGPT helps with my work, I mean, how morbid would it be if you had an argument with your AI wife and then after it you can just tell it to wipe its memory of the last 50 minutes? What the fuck? It's a damn transformer. What the fuck? In addition to AI, I think it's also fair to talk about the other AI, the thing that's used referred as the brain of the computer, the CPU, and the GPU. I'm gonna sound like a complete fossil talking about these, but I genuinely, genuinely, I don't know how these things work, like at all. I've watched a couple videos like this one. Now do some homo epitaxy, hetero epitaxy, pseudo epitaxy, diffusion doping, and that's how you make a- I, I still don't get it. Trying to grasp the entire concept of it, but Jesus, you're telling me we made something that looks like this into some small wafer and then can make another world on a screen like, huh? And then you're telling me this thing is gonna think on its own and help me answer stuff like it's a human. Oh, I'm out. 
It feels like we've taken technology for granted so much whenever we think about it. At the start of this, it was nothing but rocks. And somehow I'm writing this script on it and it can withhold information more than a million times better than a human brain. Like that new Google quantum computer that supposedly proved multiverses exist. Maybe I'm just that big of a nerd and possibly have undiagnosed autism that I find this shit absolutely mind-blowing and fascinating like, dude, we made rocks think and we are possibly at the time where the rocks will be alive how is that how is that not fucking cra you've all seen one of those pieces of media where the big ai becomes sentient and either goes against humanity or acts on its unbecoming things like the troll become human terminator avengers age of ultron it all involves something along the lines of technological rebellion now do i think something like that will happen in the real world eh, maybe i mean i trust humans not trusting ai with super important shit like launch codes or something like that but uh but then again ai won't get any physical physical bodies or no laser firing fingers or a stone that can control minds that won't happen at least for a long long time so settle your horses sit down those robots you saw in that one chinese video isn't real and sex with robots is not coming out anytime soon but i know you all wonder what if they did become sentient well the worst case scenario is that we die or maybe they do become sentient and it doesn't instantly log onto twitter and spares us the death sentence and tries to truth with us and we have to live with the fact that we have practically made life from inanimate objects. We then might form a friendly enough pack that we made them a robot body to physically interact with the physical world, and yay, robot sex is real now and we live happily ever after. Until we as humans do what we do best and introduce some sort of robot racism and they turn on us and because they're made of metal we lose and die. Or maybe they just won't get sentient? AI stays where it should. Funny I say that when I just talk about robot racism. <laughs> and it does get better at what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't get any sort of real life and soul onto it. And it doesn't include anything with humans in us dying. Yeah, that's what will probably happen. Except the new chat GPT model actually plays with thoughts and just and not just expecting what the next word is. And did the scientists just say that the AI showed some actions that indicate self-preservation? By scattering itself through uh, the system to avoid being deactivated and then lying to the developers? Oh Jesus, we need to pull the plug. This is not the direction I wanted to go, man. Well, welcome to the new way, I guess. I think someone put it best by saying they wanted AI to do their chores and not try to take over on the creative side of things, which I guess sums up my stance on AI really well. I understand using AI to eradicate work that is considered tedium, but the way that it is now, AI is mostly used to remove or replace people that are the most talented, because surprise surprise, good talent is fucking expensive, and companies don't like it when it's fucking expensive. So so they're trying to develop something that would ease the pain when their 600 million dollar blockbuster movie that came out doesn't even reach 100 million dollars in box office. But yeah, I guess that's really it. Thanks for watching video, really hope you enjoy. Drop a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more like this. And drop a comment and some feedback if you can, I appreciate and I hope to see you next time. See ya.